So I'm just going to provide a quick overview. Uh, if your business is focused on, uh, say, renting equipment or being where uh, the drilling rigs are uh, for a company, I'm going to show you an example of how we can target a company and start doing some planning, preparing ourselves for a call with the uh, particular company. So let's say that I'm uh, wanting to target the Drayton Valley area. So I like to always start at my dashboards. And on my dashboard, I'm taking a look at kind of wells drilled and new well licenses. And I can see that tourmaline is uh, pretty active in the Drayton Valley area. So that might be somebody I want to target. I come into the tourmaline record. So I went in and I searched uh, tourmaline and I brought up the account record. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I can see is they're a public company. So I like to use some of my resources like the BOE report. I might click on the BOE report and say, okay, what are what is tourmaline saying what uh, what outlook are they uh, potentially projecting as it relates to uh, drilling activity and a lot of times you'll see it as the header is i've got some type of update so june, june 15th pretty re recent and i've got an update and then in this particular case i want to find the word rig and see how many times it shows up and see what kind of reference that they have related to it and then it says our current 2017 EP capital program is a 12 rig program and we could go up to 22 based on their cash position. So I'm like, okay, well that seems pretty robust uh, drilling program. So I, I, you know, I might make a note for myself that they have a 12 rig drilling program and uh, close this out. So one other tool that I want to go to, these are report links that take you to information related to this account. And then what I have on this account is I've said, okay, show me what rigs are running in the last 120 days. And it shows me the rigs and how frequently uh, those particular rigs are splitting. So they've got right now, they've got two rigs. So we've got uh, uh, Patterson 16 and we've got Precision 463. So we've got a 10 rig upswing on this particular 10 increase, potential increase of 10 more rigs. So now I've got that. I could have looked at the geolocation information associated with it. The other thing I might want to do is I might want to say to myself, again, when I look at this rig locator, I might want to say, well, what does it look like at a peak season? So instead of the last 20 days, I'm going to come back here starting on the 1st of November, and then let's even run it to today. And then I'll go down and I'll take a list, and I'll see, okay, they run some neighbor's rigs. They run a bunch of different Patterson rigs, a bunch of different precision rigs, and a little bit of the uh, uh, Trinidad and a couple other uh, kind of outliers on that side of it. So um, but my, my three main areas, you can see here that, yeah, when they say they're running a 12 rig program, this is definitely what we'd be looking at. And in these ones, when you see all these lines here, it tells you how frequent they are at actually uh, running at this particular point. So here's that uh, uh, 2-4, so that's kind of old. but um, you know the different rigs that they uh, they currently have running on that side of it so now I've said to myself okay well we've got a lot of capacity for growth here on the uh, uh, so there's the precision rig just butted on that side of it um, now I want to come in and I want to get a bit of a visualization of how that looks so one map I, I just created for myself and I said okay uh, let's take a look at where these rigs are operating today so I can get a better idea and when I map them out here, I can see that I'm just, uh, you know, south of the Edson area. And then uh, when I look at our rigger, there's the tourmaline and there's uh, my Precision 463 running there. And then I also want to take a look at, there's the Patterson rig there. So now I have an idea of uh, where they're operating. Again, I'm kind of making notes for myself. I understand where these guys are operating. I also wanted to look at another map and the other map allows me to do two different things. One is this grouping of blues are uh, well licenses that have been taken out. So those are new well licenses um, that, uh, that we want to take a look at. And all these colors here, those are drilling rigs over the last uh, 120 days, I believe it is. So if I come in here and I take a look at uh, the filter that I put, so make sure I understand what, 180 days. So um, now when I look down here, we, we could see... This is their, a key area, which uh, we already know which a couple of rigs are that are running in there. Those are active today. Now I'm saying to myself, okay, now I have these key areas. And then within the key areas, if I take a look at this, uh, this one, I now have the uh, uh, terminating zone. I have the field smoky. 
So in the smoky area, I then have, uh, when I look at it from a, a drilling perspective, I can see here that I've got, uh, you know, some neighbors was doing some work in the smoky area. Um, we come over here and we could see that uh, Precision was doing some work in, this, in the smoky area. And then again, another uh, Patterson rig. So, you know, this is a potential area for some growth. You know, they, they had multiple rigs running in this area uh, over that side of it. So I'm asking myself, okay, uh, I've made some notes on what rigs are potentially running there. And then I can come back and I can say, hey, in the smoking area, smoky area, I see you have some well licenses. Here are some rigs that you're running with four. Do you have an idea what rigs you're gonna put in there? Can I then provide you ABC type of equipment? You know, we'll come over here again take a look at this particular record and then we see that this is the Kakwa area. So in the Kakwa area, you know, uh, you know they've, they've had multiple different companies providing them drilling services. So that's where the Joe Max rig was running. And then if we take a look at it, this is uh, multiple rigs. We had precision in there. So you can come back and say, hey, in that Kakwa area, are you planning on running that precision rig again? over uh you know over the summer when do you want to fire it up when when are we going to look at it and then we can work through each one of these so now when i go in and i talk to this particular customer i'm not just saying hey tell me about your program i'm working it over i can say currently i see that you're working in this particular area uh and then when we look at this area i can say that uh <clears throat> you know i could say hey you're right you're working in the ansel field and uh, we happen to be working with Patterson. Are you continuing to do that? Are you going to be adding more? I can see you've got a bunch of new well licenses in that area. Are you planning to continue to do that? Can I provide you with some equipment? And then when we move from that area, we can then come over here and talk about this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And now we've got this whole account planned out. So that's an example of how we take a look at uh, being able to decipher a large account like this what kind of drilling activity they have going forward. We target an area in our dashboard. We go to the account. We look at some information like the BOE report. We look at our rig locator account, and then we drop some map, uh, maps down to help us with our questioning process, document it. Now I'm in a good position to reach out and talk to this particular customer.